हे गाइस आई एम निशांत वेलकम टू साइबर नाइटिको सो टुडे वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट डायनामिक फॉर्म फिल्स इन रिएक्ट सो वी हैव प्रिंटेड आवर नेम हियर लेट मी शो यू व्हाट इज दिस द एज वी कैन ऐड मोर फील्ड्स एज मेनी वी वांट लेट्स ऐड सेकंड डेटा आशीष एज समथिंग 21 थर्ड फील्ड कॉल्ड उदय एज ट्वेंटी राजू लेट्स से ट्वेंटी फाइव एज वेल एंड लास्ट वन लेट्स से एनी थिंग लेट्स से शैलेश एज ट्वेंटी सिक्स इफ वी सबमिट इट विल बी हेयर सो वी हैव डन इट मेक फील्ड्स ऑफ फोर और फाइव आइटम्स हेयर वी कैन ऑल्सो रिमूव दैम इफ रिमूव इट विल बी रिमूव्ड सो क्लिक सबमिट वी विल हैव ओनली फोर फील्ड्स हेयर दैट वी सी ऑन दंसो दैट वी सी ऑन दिस यू आई रिमूव अनदर वन From between, let's say Ashish, we have three fields: Nishant, Uday, and Raju. So let's learn how to build this in React. So here we have two input fields: name and age, as you can see, with the name and placeholder props. So first thing we need to create dynamic fields is to create one state. Make it form fields and set form fields. Use state. It will be an array of objects. so the object should be it should contain the name prop name property and age property so we have to name and age so we will map this div sorry we will map this for fields array to get data from this for fields so it will take a form parameter then we will return something we will return this div so it will repeat the objects which are inside this for fields array so if we have one object it will print out one set of form fields of name and age if we repeat this once more it will print out two objects or two fields set of fields so revert it back now let's set the fields here so we need a function so set const let's say handle form form change equals to this an arrow function so assign the arrow function on these two input fields so on change so whenever our input field changes it will send us the data to this handle form change function so we will say event and we will just say for handle form change we will send in the event and the index of the form so we need the index as well so let's add the index from this form fields we will we are sending event and index repeat the same for the age prop age field now let's set the value so the value should be form dot name so this form dot name and here it should be age form dot age Wow. Okay, we need to also specify specify the key. So key is the unique item for the array. So it will be index. This index. Then let's receive the data here. So it should contain an event, then an index. So we are sending first the event, then the index. So it will be in the same order, event and index. So let's start to console dot log this both event and index. So console dot log. Let's say index first. So send the index, send that event value. So event dot target dot name first to get this name. So we will get the name of name and age. So let's try. Open the console. Clear it. Let's type something. Okay, okay, okay. Let me do it like this. Fine. Okay, we are forgetting something. So let's wrap this whole mapping in a form. So we have forgotten to add that. Add it here. Now let's try. So if we type something, okay, it's not still working. So let's see what is the problem. Okay, if we go back, cannot read property of undefined of name. So form dot name. 
okay sorry it should be able to target value not value let's try now you see we are getting this index 0 and the name here because we are typing it here then if you type something in the age we will get the index and the age you see it's working if we repeat this one more time so this one has the index of 0 and this one has the index of 1 if so we will have one more field there the index of this name and age second one it should be 1 so type something here you see it's 1 and type something here it's still one but the name is different this is name and this one is age now we don't need this console log so let's add the field here so let's see the field in our console so what we can do is so create one let variable let's say let data we will do structure or we will break down this form fields first using spread operator then we will specify which value to edit so data the index of the data and the form field name so we will say event dot target dot name so we have added which field to add data inside now we will add the data which we are typing so it will be event event dot target dot value then this value is inside this data with index and the field name so now we need to set this data in this array of set form fields this state simply set it like this data now if we type something it will be typed here you see it is getting typed here but if we don't have this set form fields or where if we are not setting it here we can't type it here you see if we type something it's not visible so uncomment this now let's see our data in the console so okay so we need one more uh, function so let's say const submit it will be an error again error function so add the button to this fun sorry function to this button so on click this submit and this submit should be here as well so on submit on submit this function submit now we can console.log this uh, set of form fields so let's see what we get but before that let's create a function to add a more field add fields so const add fields And this function should be here on this button of okay wait a second we did something wrong this should be here and this should be on submit here so on the submit function we should have submit function and and on more button add more button we should have add fields function so we need to create a one more object so let's say object they should be name and empty string then we should have age again empty string then we need to add this object inside this state called set form fields so just simply set it object but it's not the simple so we are setting object here so it, this object will override the previous one so we need to make sure that we set the right thing and we set the previous thing also or previous state so we will just say we will iterate over this form field then set it inside the set form fields now it will work click add more we have another field here again add more and it goes on but if we don't have form field inside we will just get only one field and it will not work properly so revert it back redo this add more click clicking add more so now let's try the functionality let's enter my name nishant age some wait open the console first so if i enter my name called nishant and age something 25 click submit see it is coming here in this array of objects age and name 
लेट्स ऐड वन मोर फील्ड कॉल उदय ए शुड बी ट्वेंटी फाइव एज वेल क्लिक एड मोर हेयर सॉरी क्लिक सबमिट हेयर वेर गेटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट टू ऑब्जेक्ट इन एन एरे निशांत उदय एश सेम ट्वेंटी फाइव वी कैन एड वन मोर सो लेट से आशीष ए एस एच आई एस एस एंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड राजू लेट से ट्वेंटी फाइव एज वेल इफ वी एड और सबमिट इट वी हैव फोर ऑब्जेक्ट इन साइड एन एरे of all the four names and all the ages respectively you see now let's see how to remove the fields from the data array here. so we can just add a new function here so const remove fields we can add a function we need one button as well so add a button here and on click of this button first let's name it call remove and when we click the button here it will send us the id to the function or the index of that specific array so we will just call the function which is remove fields call it and send the index like this let's receive the index here x then we will just say console dot log this index this console dot log this index now so we have this remove button all over here if we click remove you see we are not seeing anything it says our app is getting refreshed when we click remove so in order to prevent that we need to add one property here in the on submit function so it will take a parameter e defaultly and we will say e dot prevent default this allows us to prevent the prevent the page from refreshing itself now if we click remove in the field 1 we will get the id and the empty data you see we are getting the id 0 which is in the index if we click add more we will add one more field the index 1 you see the index is now 1 index 2 and so on so now what we want to do is remove the fields so create one data state so let's say data and store this store this state here for fields just like we did in this handle form change function we will iterate over this form fields using spread operator and we will store it in the data then we can just splice the form fields or sorry data so we will just say data dot splice we will splice it and it will take the index and the first on the one element then we will add the splice data in our form fields array get form fields so add it data data now if we remove any field so first let's add the name to be clear nishant a 25 let's say Ashish is two. Uday is twenty-five. Raju is let's say twenty-five as well. If we remove Uday, click remove. You see it is not here, and we are getting our all the three fields: Nishant, Ashish, and Raju with the age. If we remove Ashish, it will be removed. If we remove Nishant and Uday. For on Raju, it will be removed, and we will have empty state. If we click submit now, we should have empty data. You see, it's empty. So, so I think it's done. So that's how you create dynamic form fields in React. If we click add more, it will add fields. If we click remove, it will remove the fields. That's fine. So I am now logging out from this video, and I hope you learned something today. from this video don't forget to like my video and subscribe my channel